This mass is offered for the following intentions. Month's Mind Mass for the soul of Elizabeth Diguna and for the soul of Andridge Lobo. First death anniversary for the soul of Hilda Narona, for the soul of Christopher Gonzalez, for the soul of Sebastian Fernandez, for the soul of Unita Lopez, for the soul of Telma de Souza, and for all the intentions in the mass box. The risen Christ calmed the anxious hearts of his disciples by breathing his peace upon them. At this Eucharistic celebration, let us pray to the Lord for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon us so that we may become bearers of his peace. Today, as we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday, let us place our trust in Christ's unfathomable divine mercy and pray for the grace to never fail to draw from the well of the Father's mercy and thus become instruments of justice, reconciliation and peace. Alo tujha darshana la deva Alo tujha darshana la Alo tujha darshana la deva Alo tujha darshana la Charna pahata tujhe deva चरण पाहता तुझे देवा ये अर्थ आमुचा जगन्याला आलो तुझा दर्शनाला आलो तुझा दर्शनाला देवा आलो तुझा दर्शनाला Alo tujha darshanala deva alo tujha darshanala Let us sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Today is the second Sunday of Easter. Today's day is even called as a day of doubting Thomas. And this day is even dedicated to Divine Mercy. It's called Divine Mercy Sunday. This devotion of Divine Mercy was promoted by Saint Faustine, who was canonized by Saint John Paul II. As we have this auspicious days today, remembering and commemorating, let us prepare ourselves worthily by acknowledging our sins and preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed May Ever Virgin Mary and all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us exalt to the words of Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. 
Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The full number of those who believed were of one heart and soul. And no one said that any of the things that belonged to him was his own. But they had everything in common. And with great power, the Apostles were giving their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all there was not a needy person among them for as many as were owners of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold and laid it at the apostles feet and it was distributed to each as any had need the word of the Lord thanks be to God our responses give praise to the Lord for he is good his mercy endures forever give praise to the Lord for he is good his mercy endures forever Please repeat give praise to the Lord for he is good his mercy endures forever let the house of Israel say his mercy endures forever let the house of Aaron say his mercy endures forever let those who fear the Lord say his mercy endures forever our response give praise to the Lord for he is good his mercy endures forever the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone by the Lord has this been done a marvel in our eyes this is the day the Lord has made let us rejoice in it and 
be glad. Our response, give praise to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of Him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments and His commandments are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Testimony concerning the Son of God. This is He who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not by the water only, but by the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one who testifies because the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Have you believed, Thomas? Because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were for the fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it will be withheld. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the disciples told him, When he, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails, and place my fingers into the mark of the nails, and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. Eight day later, 
his disciples were inside again and Thomas was with them although the door was locked Jesus came and stood among them and said peace be with you then he said to Thomas put your fingers here and see my hands and put your hand and place it on my side do not disbelieve but believe Thomas answered him my Lord and my God Jesus said to him have you believed because you have seen me blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book but these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is Christ the Son of God and that by believing you may have life in his name the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ kindly be seated. In 1829, George Wilson was condemned to death for the crime of robbing the males and even killing one of the officer who was on approach to arrest him. Well, when President Andrew Jackson heard about, he granted him a pardon but George Wilson refused it and thus the judge, the judge of that day said clearly, pardon is a pardon only when one accepts it. George must die. Similarly, mercy is mercy only when we accept it. Therefore, in order to receive mercy, we must ask for it and be ready to accept it in our life. It's only after the acceptance of this mercy that there would be a complete change in our attitude, in our mind, in our way of life. Today's reading are about God's mercy. A beautiful day, a day dedicated to divine mercy. And the reading also speaks about mercy. It's about the necessity of having a complete trusting faith and it's even giving us clues of the need of forgiveness of our sins in our life so three aspects mercy faith and forgiveness which is required in our life the first reading from the acts clearly and beautifully states of corporal act of mercy it gives a clear instruction or I would say a clear illustration of how the earlier Christian before they were persecuted they carried on this corporal act of mercy they practiced by sharing love compassion and mercy of God of what God had taught them through Jesus through the witness of their community to others through their living through their sharing through the breaking of bread the breaking of word together this was a clear uh, sign of being together being one experiencing the joy of that mercy as the gospel today recounts how Jesus instituted the sacrament of reconciliation today the sacrament of reconciliation on this day of divine mercy and it even presents to us a faded picture of someone who's doubting that is the doubting Thomas it gives us a faded picture of his life but a clear view of his profession of faith so indirectly I would say today's reading highlights two main points mercy and faith so when we are talking about this the profession of faith of Thomas was through his words the words which we heard just now in the readings my Lord and my God such a beautiful word such a depth and meaningful words which gives and brings the feeling from our heart from within our heart and it just lifts ourselves to God gospel illustrates Jesus 
showed divine mercy to the apostle the one who doubted and not only did he show mercy but he emphasized and gave importance to his faith the faith which grew so i would say as we read and as we heard the gospel it initially started with this word peace be with you so let me say this is like a departing or i would say the welcoming gift of jesus before he gets goes to his father before he ascends to his father this is the first gift that he gives to his disciples his apostles to all of us after his resurrection and such a beautiful gift because certainly at that moment disciples were in the locked room there was anxiety there was fear there was a doubt in everyone's mind but through all this in the midst of this i'm sure that this peace which jesus gave them was needed a peace which brought the joy back in their life which brought the confidence back in their life and this was a gift of the risen christ to his disciples so as we reflect on these thoughts let's dwell a little bit more on the aspect of faith the faith of thomas i could say the faith of thomas could be given in two ways or could be spoken to us in two ways one is faith is a process we see in thomas's life that faith is a process because it started for we call as doubt he had a little doubt in his mind but it did not stay over them it went to it it transformed it traveled from doubt to certainty and we see it through his life even in our life as we grow as age adds on our faith also reaches to its maturity level i would say and this is clearly seen in times when times are bad when times are reflective or times are like strange on each one of us how do we respond how do we stand or how do we look up to jesus the beauty is that thomas's faith gives us a beautiful example because it did not end with that doubt it continued and it traveled from that doubt to that certainty and we see that this ended up in a true confession thomas confesses through his conviction of certainty and we are called to follow him the second attitude that we could draw from thomas's faith is that faith of thomas is like a instruction or a information it's for each one of us as we equate this time this period in the period or the time the crisis with thomas had gone he also had his own doubts own crisis in his life but with all of that he believed he had a conviction he believed that it was lord and that transformation brought a change in his life we are also called to following that instruction that information of his life to bring it in our life and follow that we make ourselves we grow in our faith and we fulfill our faith and carry it on to that certainty that point of certainty today let's ask god that this faith that culminates within us should be culminated in form of self surrender to him in times of our need in times of our desperation in times of our bleed to god and there is simple three ways which could be effective which is drawn from the life the dynamic life of saint thomas and that is k p s now it's not something similar to kon baringa karut pe like k p s but i would say it's k p s because k stands for no we are called to know we are called to know god personally in our life through all our experiences we are called to know him in that personal encounter that we grow in maturity with him p stands for prayer prayer is that ingredient or i would say that essence which gives meaning to this knowing of us once we know through prayer 
through our community prayer or personal prayer we are called to grow in that fullness towards that perfection and s stands for any guesses yes certainly s stands for sharing once we know and we pray we are not called to keep it to ourselves we are called to share share this knowing this prayer of ours with others bear witness follow and bring a fullness to this mercy and this faith of ours in our life through our life with jesus so in the words of mother teresa i would like to quote her at this moment she says if we pray we will believe if we believe we will love if we love we will serve only then we put our love of god into action so let's close our eyes and take this opportunity take this opportunity to ask us grace to know more about him to pray with that fullness and that certainty and to share with that unique love which he has bestowed us with that we bring god's love into action through our life let us stand and profess our faith by taking the apostles creed i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in and jesus christ, christ his only son our lord was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Heavenly Father, trusting in your abundant love and mercy, we bring before you our prayers in faith. Our response will be Merciful Lord, hear our prayer. Please repeat. Merciful Lord, hear our prayer. For our holy father, bishops, clergy and religious, that empowered by the Holy Spirit, they may bear witness to the good news of the resurrection. and continue to be instruments of God's love and mercy we pray to the lord together merciful lord hear our prayer for world leaders and those in authority that the holy spirit may inspire them to reach out in mercy and justice to all people especially to the poor and the marginalized we pray to the lord Merciful Lord, hear our prayer for all followers of Christ, that like the early Christians, we may share our resources and use them for the service of the needy. We pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, hear our prayer for the sick and the suffering, that they may recognize the merciful touch of the risen Lord. and experience his healing power and consolation we pray to the lord merciful lord hear our prayer in the silence of our hearts let us pray for our personal needs and those of others we pray to the lord Merciful Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your infinite love and mercy, look with favor upon our prayers 
which we make through Christ your son who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit god forever and ever amen all things are thine o lord we offer thee what we receive from thy hand all things are thine o lord we offer thee what we receive from thy hand blessed art thou o lord Israel's God for all ages thine is the power and glory and splendor all things are thine o lord we offer thee what we receive from thy hand all things are thine o lord we offer thee what we receive from thy hand pray sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to god the almighty father May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people and those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, that may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. the Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you O Lord but on this day above all to Lord you yet more graciously and gloriously when Christ our Passover had been sacrificed for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exult in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Hosanna Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like dewfall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when the supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope cardinal oswald our bishop and all auxiliary bishops and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god we blessed joseph her spouse we blessed apostles and all saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen 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 remembering all those who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries and especially those who have asked us to pray for them we'll gather them in our thoughts at this altar at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father, father who art who in art heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy name thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will, thy will be, be done, done on, on earth, earth as, as it is, it is in, in heaven, heaven. Give, us give us this day, day our daily, daily bread, bread. Forgive and forgive us, us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us and lead us not, not into temptation but, but deliver, deliver us, us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the peace of our lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other sign of peace peace Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. shall all recite the prayer for spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot now receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. E sargin thaum Ad myan mocha Swagat karta Dhani yatu ka Ahadrik tahao Se uncha tu ka Tato shika Atmyat moja Swaka jesu tu ka Swikar sita tu ka Rao moja karzan Zai tu maka Atmo ho nital kar Yagarant vosti kar He tuje pitaar Braka san por Asha bagay Jesu muji Raku nasa Khai tu yeshi Sada tuji Gai tau stuti Korun shikta Tuji khushi Swagat Jesu tu ka Swikar sitao tu ka Rao mucha kaal san Zai tu ma ka Ot moho nital kar Yagarant vosti kar Ye tuje pitaar Braka san por Ye tuje pitaar Raka san por Ye tuje pida Raka san por Bring your hand and feel the place of the nails. And do not be unbelieving, but believing. Alleluia. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts 
of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. These are the first marriage bans. The first marriage ban of Francis Regan de Souza, bachelor son of Maisie and late Christopher, residing at building number 43 B Wing 101 Tilaknagar Chembur, and Crescenta Virginia Fernandez, spinster daughter of Vincent and Cheryl, residing at B12 Mayank Apartments, IC Colony, Holy Cross Road. The first marriage bans of Lloyd Rohit Cotris, bachelor son of Henry and Lira, residing at C403 Freshia Cooperative Housing Society, LM Road, and Loretta Pereira, spinster daughter of Lawrence and Jacinta, residing at 102 Vijay Vikram Cooperative Housing Society, CS Road, number 4, Thaisar East. My dear brothers and sisters, if you know of any impediment as to why these couples should not be born in the holy sacrament of matrimony, you are bound by your conscience to inform the parish priest at the earliest. Kali bow your heads and the response for the blessing will be Amen. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confirm on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessings. Amen. May he, who redeeming work, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the hometown, homeland of heaven. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mil ke chale ham sansar me, Yeshu masi ke dood bane, Haat haat me liye, kande se kandha mile, पर चले हम अब सुनाने ईश वचन मिल के चले यीशु जी के शिष्य हम सभी पर चले जाए हम सुनाने वचन यीशु जी के शिष्य हम सभी पर चले जाए हम सुनाने वचन हर गली में हर शहर में हम घोषित करे ईश राज का आगमन मिल के चले हम संसार में ईशु मसी के दूत बने हाथ हाथ में लिए कंधे से कंधा मिले बढ़ चले हम अब सुनाने ईश वचन मिल के चले